Welcome to the first in a series of tutorials on how to use your Google Apps account. The first thing we're going to take a look at is how to add the gadget for Google Apps to your current iGoogle homepage. The first thing you need to do after you've opened up your iGoogle page is to go to the Add Stuff button. When you click on this, it'll take you to the page where you can add gadgets for many of your other services such as Blogger, Facebook, and Twitter. However, today we're going to take a look specifically at the Google Apps gadget. Once the gadget page has loaded, go over to the right hand side of your screen where the box has search for gadgets. In here, type Google Apps and click search. It'll bring up several different gadgets that'll work with Google Apps. However, the top one, Quick Links, Google Apps for your domain, is the one that we are going to be using. If you click on Add It Now, and then click on your Back to iGoogle Home link, you will see the box typically in the left-hand side of your screen. The first thing you're going to need to do is actually enter in the domain. The domain for right now is New Canaan. .k12.ct.us, just like the end section of most of your teacher's emails. Once you've typed that in, hit save. This will direct your Quick Links gadget to the correct domain. Once your gadget has loaded up, you will see links for your Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sites, and Google Talk that are associated with your Google Apps account. Google Apps only gives you access to some of the Google suite of applications. So you will still need to keep your regular Google account and your regular iGoogle page. These will enable you to use things such as Google Maps and add the gadgets such as Facebook and Twitter. Once your iGoogle page has loaded up, you will see the quick links is now there. Every time you click on one of these quick links, you will have to log into your Google Apps account. This does not require you to log out of your regular Google account, however. This ends your first tutorial.